on National Coffee Day, one of my favorite holidays, I did what every other Instagram account user does and exploited a hashtag for likes with something that no one really needed, a typed on coffee cup. I posted these photos on my Instagram, just.my.typewriter, which you can find at the link below. No one asked me how to do this, but I've decided to show you anyways. Since I've done this before, I've learned a few tricks to make typing on these paper cups easier. First of all, you need to clean and soak these cups. I cleaned out my cups, yes I use them, I actually drink four lattes a day, and soak them in hot water in my sink. I uncurled the top lips of these cups because those will never go through a typewriter platen. Then, following the glue lines, I split the cups down the side and detached them from the bottoms. I found it's better to just rip the bottoms off instead of trying to take them apart on the glue line so that when you put them back together, they can actually form a fit at the bottom without any extra folds. I then set these off to dry flat. In addition to supporting my local coffee house, I also run on Dunkin' on the weekends, so I decided to try typing on that kind of paper cup as well. What I found was that Dunkin's logo is actually an extra skin put on the cup to act as a coffee sleeve and a layer of insulation. I had to just remove the outer logo layer, which was attached with glue. I did this very poorly as you can see, and this will come back to haunt me when I try to put the cup back together. I then left everything to dry because wet coffee cup skins get ink smeared everywhere. How do I know this? Well, I've done it. The next thing you need to know about these skins is that they're coated with wax on the inside, so they're very thick. I tried using my go-to machine, the Royal HH Elite, aka Huxley, to type on the cups, but the paper was way too thick. Instead, I've gone to my trusty Dame Maggie Smith, Smith Corona Pacemaker, which has no problem accepting the thicker paper. I tried two different patterns on this machine and both failed miserably. Part of the trouble of having thicker paper is that the carriage return doesn't always grip the paper and move the sheet up consistently, which means you have to pull it up manually and this can lead to uneven spacing. It is at this time that I had a revelation. The pacemaker actually has a lever on the right side under the platen knob that lifts up the platen unit for easy removal. Once I had the skin in the machine, I could lift up this lever and straighten out the cup skin for a perfectly lined surface for my pattern. I then found that by covering the entire cup in text with no lines or fancy stuff, I got the best results. Now the skins themselves are curved, which leads the pattern of the text curving as you go further down the skin, but I think this gives the pattern a really cool look when you're all done. Next, I took the Dunkin' Cup skin, which did not dry well, I must admit, and rolled it through the machine. The cup itself has a lot of branding, which I didn't want to just type over because it would look messy. I also knew that trying to do stripes was not working, so I only put two stripes around the logo and figured I would take a photo from the good side as the other side of the skin was already messed up from the drying process. Now onto reconstruction. I learned the first time around that you want to keep the cup in the form of the original cup so that the lid and sleeve fit normally. I glued the coffee cup skin to the base, which was saved from the original cup, to keep that form, and then glued the seam shut on the ends. When I did this before, I glued the skin to itself first and then tried to pop the base in, and it just wasn't the right shape. Then, just so no one would actually try to fill this with real coffee and dye, I glued the lid back on. Onto the Dunkin' Cup. I actually didn't have to fit this cup to a base because the logo was on its own separate layer from the cup. I glued around the original lines and fit the skin back along these lines, but I failed miserably and did not fit the skin tight enough against the cup and it looks a little lumpy. I also glued the lid on for safety. I found that the Duncan skin was much harder to type on and put back on the cup because there was so much detailing and text. Also the skin was so much thinner than the commonplace cup, so the water did so much more damage to the skin than the others. The seams on both of these cups are less than desirable, but if you turn them around, no one will notice. Here are my original cups, haphazardly made for National Coffee Day, and here are my two more thought out tests of typing on coffee cups. So if I can type on the coffee cup, why can't I type on the coffee sleeve? These coffee sleeves are very thick because they have a thin outer cardboard layer and an inside layer, which is accordion folded to keep your hand from getting burned by the cup. I know that if I want to type on something through my machines, i.e. any portables or my Royal HH Elite aka Huxley, I need to have a thinner typing surface, otherwise it won't roll through. Using the same trick I did on the pacemaker, I was able to line up the edge of the sleeve to make for a straight line for typing. Once I finished typing on the entire sleeve, I glued the inner cardboard back in place. I accidentally uh, glued this upside down in the first section, so I had to rip along the perforated lines and then glued it back in properly. 
I think putting both of these together is a little too much text, but separately, these items are really interesting pieces of typewritten graffiti, and they're great display pieces that really capture what I love most in this world. Coffee, typewriters, and pointless art projects. If you guys want to see more content like this, subscribe to this YouTube channel. We've also got an Instagram, which you guys can follow at just.my.typewriter, that features the machines I use for these kind of projects and other typewriter content. Thank you so much for watching, and I want to remind you that you're just my type. Writer.